Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to show you how to play the game Nacho Pile. This is from Pandasaurus, designer Ken Gruel. Uh, if you want to know our thoughts about the game, there'll be a separate video that you can check out in the video description. But in this one, we're just going to take a look at how the game works and plays. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to give each player a plate, which you've done here. Then in the bag, which is loud, you're going to give each player, or you're going to draw out chips. And this is kind of a push your luck game. So you're going to reach in, you're going to pull out a chip. There's special chips, there's some other stuff that can happen, but let's just go ahead and start and I'll kind of guide you through it as we go. Right, so this player's first, we're just going to go around. So they'll draw a chip. They have a one, all right? So they can stop or they can keep going. They will bust, meaning they lose all their chips if they draw the same number out of the bag. There's a whole lot of chips in here left, so let's see what happens. What are the chances? So if you bust, the chips go back in the bag. And then it's the next player's turn. So they're going to reach in here. They're going to grab something. Steal. All right, so steal. That's a special chip. That will let you steal one chip pile in front of any other player and put it in front of you. And this happens at the end when you're done, all right? So if they bust, that doesn't happen. If they don't bust, then they get to do that, okay? So they have a two. Let's put them over here, kind of. And they have a one. And a six. And they're going to go ahead and stop. Now, they could steal. No one else has any chips. But when you have a special chip, you go ahead and put it on your plate. All the rest of the chips will stay out on the table. Now it's that player's turn. They're going to do their thing. And they drew a five, a four, a three. We're going to do one more, one more. And uh, another five. So they busted because they drew two of the same number. Now there's all those are back in the bag. Now it's back to me. So I drew a two, a five, and I'm going to stop. Now, if you stop and there's chips on the table that match that number, any of the numbers you picked, you take it. So I take these chips, they come in front of me. And that's the end of my turn. Now it's this player's turn. If it comes back to the player and they have chips in front of them, they will take their chips and put them on the plate. And now those are chips that they have the possibility to help them score at the end of the game. So they'll go again. Whoops, I drew two, two. They'll draw one, so they got a four. A wild. Now, a wild is any number. I'm going to make it a th uh, two. A one. And a three. All right, and I'm going to stop. So this is a two. So I'm going to take all of these twos. Done. Then it's the other player's turn. They're going to go ahead and pull. I keep drowning two. So they got a four. A wild. We'll make that a two. Seven, they're going to stop. So they'll take all these twos. It comes back to me. I get a score on my five. And then I would keep drawing. And that's how the game's going to keep going until there's only one chip left in the bag. At that point, whoever has, you're going to pull that chip out. So say this is the last chip in, this, this is the last chip in the bag. So I pull that out. Whoever has, before that, before you pull it out, you put all the chips that you had up on your, your plate. So let's say we did that. So this is a three, got two, four, and seven. Then we pull this chip out, and whoever has the most of these number, this number is the winner. So in this case, it would, it's not gonna be a tie usually, but um, to say this player had two fours, they would be the winner, that's it. If you pull out one of these tiles or a wild, it's whoever has the most total number of chips on their plate, and they're the winner, and that's it. And that's how you play the game. So that was Nacho Pile from Pandasaurus. Um, I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and remember, you can check out all of our thoughts in the separate video in the video description. And as always, keep gaming.